morning everyone and welcome to a next day in my life as a software engineer let's get started so first thing in the morning i do my makeup when i have to go somewhere in the afternoon because i just don't like doing it then and i just also don't care that i have like makeup on because i don't really use makeup i mean it's just like brow gel mascara and these things anyway i woke up super uh, super late today i woke up at 9 a.m because i went to bed at like 1 a.m and i always have to sleep eight hours i've been doing this since covid and it's great i couldn't sleep i don't know why because i have a lot of stress in my life currently because i'm finishing phd or i'm trying to finish my phd and yeah i also got work i also got social media i'm trying to find a new job so everything is just like too much and i'm also like extremely demotivated like i don't know why i haven't been this demotivated ever i think but i also never had so much to do so yeah it isn't easy and i just want to keep it real like i am stressed as hell i kind of want you to know that if you ever feel stressed like me now <laughs> then it's okay and everyone feels stressed and not everything is always okay Okay, easy makeup done and I'm not gonna dress into anything else because this is just super cozy and it's pretty cold in the house. I'm not gonna get into why it is cold, but it is cold so that's why I'm wearing this and I don't care honestly. Everyone is telling me that I look super tired and totally, I totally agree. I look extremely tired. Yeah. Exactly. Good morning, my dear Otis. These are the mornings with you. But actually, he's super cute and he doesn't usually wake me up. Unless he doesn't poop in the bathtub, right? And welcome to this dark room. I'm gonna keep it super real. So you can see how dark it is in this room if I use no lights whatsoever. So it's crazy. Alexa, work. This does make it a little bit better, but also not that much. I'm uh, gonna be upgrading this beast. Uh, I'm finally gonna get water cooling, another motherboard, DDR5s, a new GPU, and then then. So if you're interested in that, then definitely subscribe if you aren't already, because that's coming next. I turn on the light so you can see better, but here uh, a new SSD, a uh, dual channel DDR5, Intel Core E9, and a lot of other things so which are needed for the water cooling, and a new motherboard, and I'm still waiting for the GPU, I'm getting the RTX 4090. I also got these tiny, tiny stars from Twinkly, and these are just making my, well, mood a lot better as I just have them here on the table. Maybe it doesn't look super aesthetic, maybe it does look like a field of stars. I think it's personal preference, but I love it because it brings a lot of light into this space and I don't feel as depressed as I normally would. I had to turn on a key light so you can actually see me there. Um, so the first thing of the day uh, is lead code questions. You might be wondering why. The reason why is, as I said, I will be looking for a new job. And the thing with new jobs when you have a lot of competition is coding, coding, coding on a whiteboard or wherever you just have to code uh, out of your head and solve uh, questions. So I studied how many years? Five, six, seven, eight years at university and I still have to go through this process and I'm like, why the hell did I study? And I love when people are like, like you studied at university. Why do you have to like go through these questions? Like you gotta know them, right? You studied for eight years. Guys, you forget these things. You just forget them because you don't use them. So you forget them. It's not like I remember straight away from my head. If you say like do this and this algorithm, I know kind of how it works, but I don't really remember it. And also... Coding in an IDE is so much different than normally coding because, for example, they let you like code this algorithm in C++ and do not use the standard library. 
So, but this is what you generally do. You use the standard library. So when you're not using the standard library and when they also want you to optimize the code, it's a little bit more tricky and I think it needs practice. And the reason why I'm doing this, I am an introvert. I hate talking to people I don't know. And in an interview, you meet new people. And also I stress a lot about these things. Um, so I would be incredibly stressed. And whenever you're stressed, your brain doesn't work and you can't remember things. So by actually solving the lead code questions, no matter if I get the same problem or I don't, um, I actually kind of like train my mind to solve these. When you look at the first lead code question, you're like, and you're in the easy category, you're like, like what, this is easy? Like I can't solve it or I can't solve it as quickly as I want it to. And then you find out, oh, you just have to get used to it. It's just like a habit. I'm going to solve some of the questions, maybe for like an hour, or maybe two hours. I don't know. And then I'm going to code for my actual job. I'm going to kill the cat. He knows he's not allowed to go up there, but he does it anyway. And also, before I start, look at this mirror wall. I am so in love with this. It also brought a little bit of light into the room because there is a window. So it kind of comes into the mirror and a little bit of the light comes here where there's normally no light. So I love it. Of course, I have to drink my morning coffee and this is me trying to solve the lead code questions. I'm actually starting with this today. So this is the first problem I have and uh, it's like a bundle of 150 interview questions, I think. So you got two uh, sorted arrays and you have to merge them into the first one, which has allocated spaces for, for the numbers from the other array, for example. Okay, now it's almost two o'clock. I worked and I solved lead code for around two hours, planning to do that every day until I find a job. Hopefully. I can't really film what I'm working on at work because, you know, it's under NDA and I work in cybersecurity. So no one would be happy about me sharing something. So I'm sorry I cannot include you in that. I'm going to go to the gym for an hour. And then after I get back, I'm going to continue to work because today is a long day. I am dressed in my gym clothes now. Um, yeah, we are changing the radiators and i also found out that i have to fix it back when i come back so yeah great day great positivity spread positivity i don't know what i i can't tell you i mean life is life and life sucks i haven't even told you that i also should have finished a document for my university today but obviously there are other things i need to do first so i have to focus on it tomorrow basically it's an abstract like a 20 pages long abstract from my dissertation and i also have an article i want to finish and the submission deadline is end of december uh and i also need to have it approved by my supervisor so that's also gonna take some time and anyway i didn't eat anything because i had no time don't be like me oh and one more thing you know how i do social media I have done nothing for it today. Like I have no post prepared. I have nothing I could publish because I just have no time. And I also have collapse, which I have to publish. So my schedule is like, I wanna die. Here's me going to the gym with my mom because that's mostly our time to spend together. And I was super happy to actually go to the gym because it was a nice break between work and it can always clear your mind and make things better. And always after the gym, I drink my whey peptides, hydrolyzed whey protein, uh, which is super fast acting for my muscle regeneration. And I always mix it with a little bit of creatine. And here is us going home. My mom has a cute Fiat 500. Um, yeah, the weather was not nice. <laughs> Finally at home, I look at this Christmas decoration. I was training with my mom and my mom drives a Fiat 500. And, you know, a small car, um, it can really go fast. And we were approaching a red light. It was, it was like blinking uh, green. So it was like, you should stop because you can't go on orange. And so we wouldn't have made it anyway, but we just slowed down, you know, because we knew the red was coming and a person who was driving behind us was like quickly, he went like into the parking lot, which was right next to us. 
extremely fast. Then he jumped out of the car and started shouting at us like, why, where aren't we driving? Like we won't drive. Like if there's a, an orange light, like you, you are not allowed to drive. He was just out of his mind totally. Just because you have a small car, I mean like, and if you would have seen the road, like the whole car is shaking on that road. No one goes quickly there. What an idiot. And look who's waiting for me. Otis. He looks like a devil. Otis, go. Look at these Christmas decorations I have here. I am in love. A little village with a tree. And this is the staircase from the top. By the way, the previous owners were hanging some kind of paintings here and look what it looks like uh, on the carpet. It's so ugly, I can't, but fortunately we don't really have time to like scrap down the carpet and I don't want to pay anyone to do it because that's gonna be like crazy expensive and why waste money if we can do it by ourselves. I've already said that I haven't eaten anything today and my mom has made like this kind of sweet sour Chinese soup, so I'm gonna eat that. But first I'm gonna take a shower, give some food to this ugly one, just joking. And then I need to fix the bug I was talking about, so great. And it's already 5 p.m. So after I've taken my shower, after I've eaten, after I've fixed the bug, I will probably call it a day and just chill because it's already gonna be so late. It's too cute. And also anyone else whose heart rate is just crazy, I mean, almost 160 like an average ppm i think that's too much what do you think by the way i'm saying it again don't live the lifestyle i live don't you dare i just found out or i just remembered that i also need to fill out a document for my university and the due date is today so again kill me please you know, as I was solving these coding questions, studies have shown that people actually learn the most by doing. So this is the same with coding, like you learn nothing unless you write the code. That's exactly the approach which Brilliant has. And this video is also sponsored by Brilliant. So if you struggle with learning basic concepts and you know that you're not motivated enough to actually like sit down and do something about it, then I think Brilliant is a great opportunity to learn because you learn by doing, you learn interactively. Your mind learns to work with the concept that is presented and you will be the one solving these problems. It's not like you're reading a bunch of text and then you just have to like let that information sink in. No, it actually makes you think and you actually need to solve the problem. So for example, I use it to learn statistics, but you can learn a bunch of different areas. So if you're interested, just go to the link brilliant.org slash Dilenka. And I also have a discount for you. So the first 200 who are gonna go to the link brilliant.org slash Dilenka are gonna get 20% off their annual subscription. This is an opportunity you don't want to miss because you can save a lot of money and you can gain a lot of knowledge. And you know me, I wouldn't promote something I don't believe in. I think it's time to get back to coding. So I'm gonna fix the bug. I'm gonna fill out the document and hopefully rest a bit. Here is me filling out the document for my university and then solving the bug. I know I look annoyed, but that's maybe just my resting phase. Or maybe I was feeling a little bit annoyed. I just had a lot of work. But whenever something bad is happening in my life, something good happens. And it's this package. Finally, my GPU is here. So finally, this is my new GPU, the RTX 4090 from Asus. It's the tough edition because I also have a matching water block for it. So I'm super excited to finally upgrade my PC. So stay tuned for that. Of course, I had to try it out in my old build. Okay, I'm done. I'm only gonna chill with this one. And yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you liked them and I hope I'll see you soon. Bye.